Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, where I share the latest news and updates on the Iraqi dinar. Today, I have some exciting information to share with you, based on the recent statements of three prominent Iraqi officials, al Alamak, al-Sudani, and Salah. Are they telling the truth about the future of the dinar? Let's find out. First, let's talk about al Alamak, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq. He said that the project to delete zeros from the currency still exists, and that the rise in the exchange rate of the dollar in the market was temporary asadilla. He also said that there was no indication from the U.S. side to include new banks within the sanctions asadilla. This means that the central bank is still working on the redenomination of the dinar, which will reduce the money supply and increase the value of the currency. It also means that the Iraqi banking sector is not facing any major obstacles from the U.S., which is a positive sign for the stability of the economy. Next, let's talk about al-Sudani, the prime minister of Iraq. He said that he anticipates the exchange rate between the Iraqi dinar and the U.S. dollar will stabilize at the official rate of 1,320 apostrophe. He also said that Iraq's current financial situation is the best it has been in recent years and that the government has made several bold decisions to support and stabilize the dinar a middle dot. He advised against acquiring the dollar, and reaffirmed that the dinar is stronger than the dollar a pilcaro. This means that the prime minister is confident about the strength of the dinar, and that the government is taking measures to protect it from inflation and speculation. It also means that the prime minister is encouraging the Iraqis to trust their own currency, and not to rely on the dollar. Finally. Let's talk about Saleh, the former president of Iraq. He said that the region and Iraq are witnessing major transformations, and that the elections should be a starting point for solutions to the current situation a superscript one. He also said that the Baghdad Conference for Cooperation and Partnership, which was organized by the current Prime Minister al-Qadimi, was an important event for the region a superscript one. This means that the former president is optimistic about the political and security developments in Iraq and the region, and that he supports the democratic process and the regional cooperation. It also means that the former president is acknowledging the efforts of the current prime minister to enhance the role of Iraq in the international arena. So, what do these statements mean for the Iraqi dinar? Well, they mean that the dinar is on the verge of a major breakthrough and that the Iraqi officials are working hard to make it happen. They also mean that the dinar is backed by a strong and stable economy, a supportive and confident government, and a peaceful and cooperative region. These are all good news for the dinar investors, who have been waiting patiently for the revaluation of the currency. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more updates on the Iraqi dinar. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the statements of al Alamak, al Sudani, and Salah. Do you believe them? Do you think the dinar will revalue soon? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.